speaker, Dr. Ray Perrin, uh, president of Wiregrass Georgia Technical College, and uh, please welcome him to talk about the current status and the future of the uh, university. Here. Thank you, Jim. It's certainly a pleasure to be with you all today. Uh, Myrna and I have tried to schedule this for some time. In fact, she first asked me for June and then September, and the schedule didn't work. But looking at the size of this crowd today, I wish I'd been there. <laughs> now, it is a pleasure to speak with you all today, and I uh, want to thank you for the strong support that Wiregrass Georgia Technical College has received for many, many years from, from this community. As I look around the room, I see so many partners that have, have worked with us in so many different ways. Uh, and uh, as I think about the relationships that we enjoy, I think about the strong relationships that we have with the Lyons County School System and the Valdosta City School System. We so appreciate Superintendents Wes Taylor and Bill Kaysen and high school principals Jay Floyd and Janice Richardson. We've got great new enrollment programs going on at the, at the, high, at the high schools in this county. The statistics tell us that 98% of students are involved with doing growth programs will graduate from high school. So we certainly look at this as, as a way to, to strengthen the number of high school graduates from our area. We also appreciate the relationships we have with, with the many private schools in this area. I think it was mentioned about um, Terry and John serving on the Valwood Board. We're so excited we've got a, a, a great relationship with, with, with Valwood now. We actually have doing growth programs there. So we're just, just so uh, fortunate and blessed there. I can't tell you, everywhere I go, uh, Bill, I always brag on the relationship that Wiregrass enjoys with Valdosta State University. And I think that people about us may have come to take this for granted, but this doesn't happen everywhere you go. Even in, in, in our state, there are communities that are considered to be progressive where the university system institution and the technical college system uh, institution don't communicate with each other. But that's certainly not the case here in Valdosta. And I wish I could take the credit for that, but I can't. And, you know, this began many years ago with, with Dr. Zach and so many others but before us and built that relationship. And, and we're just so uh, thankful, Bill, that, that that relationship is just continuing. And congratulations on the national championship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mentioned these education partners because I believe that strong education systems are at the heart of economic development. About us in Lowndes County, are blessed to have a number of educational institutions that work with each other. And our goal is to, to, to assure that this community has the workforce that we need to go forward. And speaking of workforce, we appreciate the many business partners that we have. Uh, we're here because you're here. You hire graduates. You serve on our advisory boards to assure that our programs are meeting your specific workforce needs. And you support our college through your contributions to our foundations. We also appreciate the support we received from the Chamber and the Industrial Authority, from, from the City of Valdosta, Mayor Gale, and also from the Lowndes County Government. We couldn't be what we are today without the strong support we received. We have members of this community who volunteer to serve on our Board of Directors. Uh, Terry Lupo and James McGahey are both longtime members of the Board of, of Directors and, and provide us with so much guidance to help us become a stronger college. And certainly, we appreciate the, the members of our foundation board, and many of you are in this room today who have served on our foundation board and, and continue to assure that we've got a strong foundation from, from which to operate. And of course, none of this would be possible without our students. And the reason our students come to us is because of our instructors. And I'm really thankful today that we have one of our instructors today, and that's Walt Moore, who teaches in our uh, faith and finance uh, program. And Walt, I want to thank you for, for everything you do for our students. You're the reason students come to our school and, and appreciate what you do. Who are we? Now, many of you have lived in Valdosta for many, many years, and many of you have come to our campus, many of you haven't come to our campus. Wiregrass Georgia Technical College is one of the 24 institutions across Georgia that make up the Technical College system of Georgia. We're based here in Valdosta. We were formed by the merger of B Central Technical College and Valdosta Technical College in, in 2010. We serve 11 counties in deep south Georgia from the Florida line as far north as Wilcox County, which is just east of Cordill. Our mission is workforce development. The reason we exist is, is to ensure that this community and every community we serve has the workforce you need for your businesses and industries to, to grow and, and prosper. We're committed to providing each of the 11 counties we serve with that skilled workforce. 
And we do this in, in three different ways. And the way that you're probably the most familiar with is through our credit construction program. We have programs in about 124 different areas in 40 general areas. These areas range from accounting to welding and everything in between. About 40% of our students are in some sort of allied health program. These programs include things such as nursing, radiology technology, surgical <coughs> technology, um, EMT paramedics. Other large program areas that we have include criminal justice, computer science, business administration, early childhood care and education. The trade programs that many people associate with the technical school continue to also thrive at Wiregrass. These programs include things that, such as automotive, welding, air conditioning, electrical and industrial maintenance. Our focus is on hands-on construction. <coughs> Students learn on the equipment that they're going to use in the workplace once they graduate from us. Our instructors were hired from industry. They have not only the credentials to teach in an accredited college, but they also have the work experience to make construction become relevant and, and, and lively for our students. I say that our mission is workforce development. Well, the way you gauge this is by how many people do we put into the workforce. Well, last year, we graduated over 1,500 students from Wiregrass. 98.7% of those students are employed. So again, our mission is workforce development. Our students graduate and they go to work. So we're, we're uh, very pleased with that. We also guarantee our graduates that you should hire one of our graduates and they don't have the skill set that you think that they should have after going through our program. You can send them back to us and we will retrain them at no cost to the graduate or to the employer. And I'm proud to say we haven't had anyone take us up on that in a number of years. So we're very pleased with, with the quality of the graduates that we're putting out. And because we are a regional accredited institution, we're accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, the same agency that accredits Valdosta State, University of Georgia, University of Florida, and even Auburn University. <laughs> <laughs> because we're accredited by SAC CLC, our courses in many cases were transferred to four-year institutions. In fact, in Georgia, we have a, an articulation agreement between the Technical College System of Georgia and the University System of Georgia, where 27 of our core courses will transfer from any technical college to a university system institution. And these include things such as this college algebra, college English, uh, chemistry, psychology, speech, the, the core courses, and we offer many of those at Wiregrass. Because of this ability for our students to either go directly into the workforce or to continue their education after earning their associate degree with, this, with us, that opens many doors of opportunity for them. The second way we do workforce development is through our continuing education and contract training division. We provide specific training uh, for businesses based on whatever your needs are. For example, last year we provided a number of, of uh, businesses with OSHA training. We do forklift safety training. If you uh, buy the newest version of Microsoft Office, we can provide that training for you. Uh, we do ammonia refrigeration training, a lot of specialized things that, that you may have to go out of state to get otherwise. We, we provide right here in Valdosta. We tailor this customized training to whatever your specific business needs are. The third way we do workforce development is through our adult educational programs. Over 30% of the adults in the 11 county area we serve do not have a high school education or GED. If we're serious about economic development for Deep South Georgia, and I believe everyone in this room is, we've got to address the fact that one out of every three adults living in our area does not have a high school education or GED. We provide free classes to help people prepare to take the GED. We have at least one GED adult education site in each of the 11 counties we serve. Where are we? Well, we're, we have four campuses in South Central Georgia. Of course, we're based here in Valdosta. We also have a campus in Fitzgerald, one in Douglas, and one in Adel. We also have a learning center at Moody Air Force Base, and we have a number of airmen who are taking courses with us at Moody. Many who are deployed overseas who take courses with us through our online uh, uh, division. We also have adult education centers in each of the 11 counties we serve. Where are we going? This has been a challenging year for Wiregrass Tech. Our enrollment has dropped due to a number of factors, including changes in the HOPE program and the fact that the economy's gotten better. Typically, technical college enrollment is at, the, is at its best when the economy is at its worst. So as the economy improves, our enrollment tends to drop. 
Although the past year was challenging for us, the future is very bright. We have a, a number of new programs I'd like to share with you just briefly. Uh, one of them, we've got several of these flyers uh, that we passed around is for commercial construction management for businesses or, or industrial uh, applications for people who are looking to get degrees in, con in uh, commercial construction project management. This is an associate degree program that we're starting on the January 7th. So if you know of anyone who's interested in that sort of program, certainly we'd love to have them contact us. We're very excited about the associate degree in nursing program that will be beginning in January of 2014. We work very close to the South Georgia Medical Center uh, with Dallas State and with our other health care providers to develop this associate degree in nursing program, which will lead our graduates to, to be able to sit for the RN licensure exam. In the 11 counties that we serve today, there are openings for over 150 RNs. So we know that we've got a demand to, to produce these RNs, and, and we're excited about bringing this program up. We're also excited about the respiratory therapy associate degree program that we hope to start in September. The healthcare providers tell us that they're able to hire respiratory therapists, but because we don't have a training program here, these people are being trained in Waycross and Albany. As soon as openings happen at home in Waycross and Albany, these folks leave, and then there's a, there's a constant turnover of respiratory therapy. So we're hoping to get this program started in September so we can ensure that our area has a a constant stable supply of that very needed health care service. We're very excited about our engineering technology programs that will be starting in, in September. These are also associate degree programs that prepare our graduates to go to work as an engineering technician or to continue their education for a four-year degree in engineering. And I, I won't go through all these, but we've got slides up 